people are really important to me. A lot of what I'm doing is trying to understand people and how to understand myself more through the, the work that I'm making. My main body of work is cast, it's mostly cast. It's a document of a person, it's portraiture. I'm trying to capture detail, I'm trying to capture a physical identity of a person. It's kind of like a three-dimensional photograph in glass. I'm appreciating life, I'm like trying to capture the joys of life's many stages. And I'm also really scared and fearful of death, of losing people. I think there's that fine line between appreciating life and also trying to appreciate death at the same time. I'm trying to find an in-between between my work that's really kind of rigid, cast, document, physical, a lot of detail and refinement to that fluidity of the glass and how to kind of find a midpoint between that again, where the gestural nature of the glass can meet with the, something that's more refined and that physical detail is, is very present. This is a time to explore, this is a time to figure out what the glass can say and how it can mimic the human condition. Being a figurative artist, I can identify that the glass is very similar to the human condition of being opaque and transparent and fragile and broken and stressed out and can hit the floor some days and also can be really strong and um, have a presence. When you do something so much and you do it good, it starts to get boring and it starts to get mundane. You know, I love what I do, but also I start to get fearful that I'm not pushing something forward. So by going back to a roots kind of working with the glass, I definitely want it to inform my future work. I definitely want it to inform what I'm doing as a whole. Pushing boundaries and exploring new ideas that are not comfortable can be a little scary and intimidating. It's a lot more challenging, but it also lets me see what works and what doesn't. It makes me think more about the conceptual process. It's really making me go back to a foundation of visual language with the figure and what the figure has to offer visually, what that can say about our society, what that can say about dialogue, what that can say about relationships. I hope that when people look at my work, they're not just taking away a Roman bust or a caricature of someone. I hope that they're seeing themselves, something about themselves, something about a person that they know, something that says we're all very similar and we all have kind of similar experiences um, to a certain extent.